Now let us derive the lens maker's formula. For this purpose, I have used one convex lens here, which is thick at the middle, thin at the edges. One principal axis has been taken. On the principal axis, a point size object has been placed. And you consider the first surface now, left surface, x, p1, y. This is spherical refracting surface. So, in the absence of the second surface x, p2, y, one ray of light which is passing through the center of the lens goes straight undeviated. The second ray of light which is falling at this point, at this point on the x, p1, y, it gets refracted along this direction. Since we have assumed that this second surface is not there, then this refracted ray goes and meets at this point which is represented by i dash. Therefore, for the surface x, p1, y, O is the object and i dash is the image. The refractive index of the surrounding medium is mu1 and the refractive index of this lens is uh, mu2. Since the refraction is taking place from rarer medium to denser medium, then I can use the formula for refraction which I have written on the board mu2 upon v minus mu1 upon u equal to mu2 minus mu1 upon r. So, I write like this for surface x p1 y I write this equation mu2 upon v dash minus mu1 upon u equal to mu2 minus mu1 upon r. Why we have taken v dash here means because this v dash is the image distance. But actually the second surface is also present. So, for surface at uh, for surface x p to y that means when the refraction is taking place at the second surface is also. Then for this second surface x p to y i dash will be the object and i will be the final image. So, therefore, again I will be using the second equation according to that second equation what I can write is here I will write mu 1 upon v minus mu 2 upon v dash equal to mu 1 minus mu 2 upon r. Since these two surfaces are having different radii of curvature if we imagine then this is r 1 and this will be the r 2. Now, these two equations has to be added. So, adding equations 1 and 2. So, you can write this equation as 1 and this as 2. So, if I add these two equations, you look at this uh, term here. Uh, here mu 2 upon v dash, here mu 2 upon v dash, this is with negative sign, this is with positive sign, these two gets cancelled. So, the only remaining things I will write mu 1 upon v minus mu 1 upon u, this is equal to here uh, mu 2 minus mu 1, this is uh, mu 1 minus mu 2. So, I can write like this mu 1, mu 2 minus mu 1 and multiplied by here 1 upon r 1 minus 1 upon r 2. This mu 1 is taken common here now, mu 1, 1 upon v minus 1 upon u, this is equal to same right hand side mu 2 minus mu 1 multiplied by 1 upon r 1 minus 1 upon r 2. If I take this mu 1 towards the right hand side, then it comes here. Again, when mu 2 by mu 1 is taken, then that will be mu, then minus mu divided by mu it is 1, therefore mu minus 1 into 1 upon r 1 minus 1 upon r 2. So, this is actually equal to 1 by v minus 1 by u, it can also be written as 1 upon f because 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 upon f. So, this much portion is a lens formula, but the reciprocal of the focal length of a lens is also called as its a power. Therefore, this formula is called as a lens makers formula. It is called lens maker formula because lens makers, lens manufacturers, manufacturers they use this formula to manufacture a lens of given focal length or a particular power. This is important formula for 3 or 5 mark. So, this needs a lot of practice. Now, let me explain how the refraction takes place at prism. 
the ray diagram showing the path of light ray I will be drawing on the board. I am taking one equilateral prism A B C. This angle A is called as the angle of prism. This prism is bonded by the two refracting surfaces uh, wedge shaped. This B C is called as the base, A B and A C are called as the refracting surfaces. I will select one point known as a, uh, known as a point of incidence. At this point, I am drawing one normal like this. At this normal, one ray of light has been taken which is falling. You call this as the incident ray PQ. Since the light ray travelling from rarer to denser medium, it bends towards the normal and travels inside the prism. One more refraction takes place at surface AC. At AC also we have to draw one more normal. So, this is also the second normal and these two normals are meeting at a point here. So, from this point again one more refraction takes place since the light ray is travelling from denser to rarer medium it bends away from the normal. So, this point is R, this point is S. So, P Q is the incident ray, Q R is the refracted ray inside the prism and R S is the emergent ray. This is N 1, this point is N 2, we call this as N 3. Now, this angle is angle of incidence I, here this is R 1, this angle is R 2, now this angle is angle of emergence. If I extend this incident ray P Q and also the emergent ray R S in the backward direction, these two rays will be meeting at this point. Let us call this point as let us say S. Now, this one I okay, S already used, you can call it as a U and this is a V. Then the angle V U S at this angle, this is actually called as the angle of deviation. Angle of deviation is defined as the angle between the directions of incident ray and the emergent ray. This angle of deviation depends upon the nature of prism, the angle of prism. We will derive the relation for that also. Now, let me complete, let me continue the derivation here. In this, we consider the quadrilateral A, Q, N2, R. In A, Q, N2, R, angle A, Q, N2, and angle A R N 2, they are 90 degree each. Therefore, the sum of these two angles is 180, leaving the angles A and angle Q N 2 R, the sum of these two angles is 180 degree. Similarly, you take the lower triangle here, triangle Q N 2 R. In this, angle R 1 plus angle R 2 plus angle Q N 2 R is again equal to 180 because sum of the angles in a prism is 180 degree. Now, if you compare these two equations here angle Q N 2 R here also Q N 2 R leaving angle A equal to angle R 1 plus angle R 2 you call this as equation number 1. Mm -hmm. So, angle A equal to angle R 1 plus angle R 2, let us call this as equation number 1. Next, you take this triangle, triangle U Q R. In this triangle, uh, if I consider this angle here, which is angle U Q R, then it is equal to angle U Q R is equal to angle I minus R 1 and angle U R Q this is equal to angle E minus R 2 this angle I have taken. Now, the sum of these two angles is equal to delta because of this reason I can write delta equal to means angle V U 
r which is delta equal to sum of is equal to sum of angle u q r and angle u r q. Now, if I substitute the values from these two equations, I get i minus r 1 plus e minus r 2. Now, rearrange the terms, I get i plus e minus r 1 plus r 2 or else i plus e minus a because r 1 plus r 1 plus r 2 angles equal to a therefore here it is delta that means a plus delta equal to i plus e this is the equation which connects which relates the angles of prism usually this formula is called as prism formula experimentally this fact was found that as angle of incidence increases the angle delta initially goes decreasing it goes on decreasing after reaching a minimum value then again it starts increasing you can do this experiment you can verify this fact so if i plot the graph between angle of incidence i and angle of deviation delta so then I will get a graph of the parabolic shape in which the minimum angle of deviation is called as the angle of minimum deviation. When delta is equal to delta m, then the angle i is equal to angle e. Similarly, r1 is also equal to r2. Let us assume that it is equal to r that means this is i equal to e this graph is called as i delta curve using this fact we can rewrite this equation and the equation one this one and two so according to first equation when delta equal to delta m as i told you r1 is equal to r2 assume that it is equal to r then i get angle A equal to angle 2 R. This gives me angle R equal to A by 2. Similarly, from equation number 2, I can write like this A plus delta M equal to I plus E is also equal to I. This is 2 I. This gives me angle I equal to A plus delta M upon 2. That means, I got angle of incidence and also angle of refraction. As per the Snell's law, it says that the refractive index of the material of the prism mu equal to sin i upon sin r after substituting the values of i and r, I will be getting here sin of a plus delta m upon 2 divided by sin of a by 2. So, this formula is the formula for refractive index of the material of the prism. This is a complete 5 mark derivation. This is also to be studied compulsorily uh, thoroughly. The other important topic in ray optics is about optical instruments. One guaranteed questions will appear in your board examination. So, let me begin with the simple optical instrument that is called as a microscope and in, in that also a simple microscope I will explaining how it works. Basically, a simple microscope is a convex lens of short focal length. The formation of image and the details you can see on the board now. I have taken here one convex lens and here the principal axis has been drawn. I have drawn here one axis inside the lens, axis of the lens. Then here this is focus, principal focus of the lens and here center of curvature. The other side also I am representing the point F principal focus with the object is placed between the optic center and the focus of the lens then this convex lens forms a virtual image towards the same side. One ray of light starting from the object uh, parallel to the principal axis 
after refract refraction it passes through the focus the other side. Another ray of light which is passing through the center of the lens it goes undeviated. These two refracted light rays they are diverging hence image cannot be obtained this side. But when these two rays when they are extended backwards then they appear that they are coming from this point. So, at this point virtual image will be formed and this virtual image is bigger than the object hence we can say that when the object is placed between optic center and focus of the convex lens it forms enlarged and erect virtual image towards the same side. Therefore, this simple arrangement is called as a simple microscope because this convex lens shows convex lens forms a bigger image of the object. The magnifying power of this simple microscope is written as 1 plus d by f. In this equation m represents magnifying power or it is also called as the angular magnification. Here f is the focal length of this lens and d is the least distance of distinct vision. That means the final image is formed at least distance of distinct vision. For a human healthy eye it is around 25 centimeter. This concept we will be using in the next optical instrument which is called as a compound microscope. In compound microscope we can get a bigger magnification. Naturally it has more than one lens. So, how the compound microscope works? It is a construction, it is a working principle and the equation for the magnifying power let me explain. So, here we have one principal axis, these are the uh, method for this is the method of drawing the ray diagram. We take the principal axis first and on that we will take one a convex lens of short focal length and this point is uh, F O. F O represents the principal focus of objective lens. This compound micros have microscope has two lens, two lenses one is objective lens which is towards the object which is placed towards the object. So, this is the objective lens. When the object is placed beyond its focus then this lens forms its real and inverted image on the other side. Therefore, here I will take one more point which is a F O again. One ray of light parallel to the principal axis after refraction it passes through the focus. Then second point I will be taking from the center of the lens it goes undeviated. When these two are meeting at this point then this point will be the uh, position of the real and inverted image. This is magnified image. If you want to have further magnification then we will take another lens which is placed towards the eye which is of bigger focal length, larger focal length than the objective lens. If I bring this lens from certain distance, if I adjust the distance of this lens 